this snippet we're going to take a look at the IP config command. To start with, I'm going to go ahead and click the start menu from the bottom and type in CMD. Uh, this is going to bring up the command prompt. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now the command is just IP config. IP CONFIG. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And what you're going to see here is this is going to give us the specs of our network adapters. What we want to look for is typically the local area connection. And if you look here, Ethernet adapter, local area connection. This set of specifications is what I'm typically looking for. I've got my IP version 4 address. This is typically your IP address that most people talk about. Uh, 10.0.2.15 is the current address of this particular computer. The subnet mask accompanies the IP address and what this does is it distinguishes the network portion of my address from the computer portion of my address. Uh, and in this case, the 255.255.255 would indicate that the 10, the 0, and the 2 are belong to the network and then the 15 belongs with the computer. Uh, I also have a default gateway that uh, is on part of the specifications for this network adapter and what this is is this is the address of the device that will leave my network and join another network in most cases it's typically your router uh, in, in most residential setups and this is the device of the address where when, when you want to go to the internet or some other network this is the address that your network has to go or your traffic has to go through to get out of your current network all right, I'm going to go ahead and show you two other commands with the IP config. The IP config forward slash release. If I go ahead and hit enter now, what this does is it actually uh, removes the address information that I've obtained uh, on my computer from the actual DHCP server, which is the server that, or a device that gives the IP address, uh, gives the default gateway, gives uh, yourself. Um, a subnet mask and so forth to actually give yourself an IP address on your computer and so what we've done is we've actually just dumped that information and currently do not have it now if I want to send out a request on my network for my computer to get an IP address from this device called a DHCP server I'm going to want to type in IP config renew and what I did there was just hit the up arrow and it brought my last command up and changed the release to renew I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, give it a moment, and you should see after a few seconds, uh, my computer, there we go. I've now obtained my IP address again, 10.0.2.15, the default gateway, and the subnet mask. All of this information I obtained from what's called a DHCP server, and uh, this gives me my IP address for my network. Now one other command I want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and type in ipconfig and bring this up. I'm going to drag it over to the left hand side so we can see that and I'm going to open another command prompt. I'm going to drag that over to the right hand side. Now the difference between IP config and IP config forward slash all is a lot of information. If you look at the regular IP config command, this is what we've got for our local area connection. Now what we have over here, we have quite a bit more information um, about our network adapter and about our IP address. And if you take a look here, you can see uh, it does say DHCP is enabled, which means that our computer goes out to a DHCP server to ask for an address or to request an address And uh, as we go through. Now if we take a look here, uh, again we've got our IP version 4 address. We've got our subnet mask. Now the lease obtained uh, is, is basically stating when we obtained our address and how long we can actually hold that address for is what the exp expiration date or the lease expires date here. Um, and if for some reason we did not log on past that date, then this address could be given to somebody else, this 10.0.2.15. Now we've also got our default gateway. And I wanted to point out the physical address. The physical address right here is listed is uh, the actual address, it's also called the MAC address of our computer, and this is the address that's built into our network card that gives our network card a unique number that's different from every other network card out there. Uh, and so you can see the difference here between just the command ipconfig and the command ipconfig with the forward slash all argument. It does give us quite a bit more information. That's it for this snippet. Thank you.